On today's episode, guys, of the Entrepreneur Podcast, going to be talking all about the mindset of an entrepreneur, what it takes to be successful online, and should you even start this online business? Coming up. Do you want to create, market, or scale your online fitness business? My name's Sean Garner, and here we give real fit pros the tips, tools, and strategies they need to succeed online. Welcome to the Entrefit Podcast. What is up, guys? So we are today going to talk about the mindset of an entrepreneur. Should you even be an entrepreneur? Because I think that in society, especially now, we're, we're very much sexifying. I don't even know if that's a real world, real word, but it is now sexifying um, being an entrepreneur. Everybody um, wants to say they're an entrepreneur, but what I'm finding is very few want to do the things that it takes to be a successful entrepreneur, right? I see a lot of people that they want to put it in the Instagram bio, entrepreneur, fitness entrepreneur, um, but they don't even know really what that means and what it entails. How I kind of uh, explain this to people, what I'm seeing a lot of fitness professionals do right now is the equivalent of whenever you were in high school and your parents gave you a car. So what happened was uh, you, your parents gave you a car, they, they paid for the car payment, right? They paid for, you know, the fuel, the maintenance on it, the insurance, all of that stuff. But you still told everybody it was your car. The exact same thing I see fitness professionals and so many, you know, especially, especially ones that are younger, um, do this. They want to say they're an entrepreneur, but they don't want to put any of the time, effort, energy, or work in that it requires to become an entrepreneur. So on this, um, episode today, guys, I'm actually, uh, I guess sneak preview for you guys for all the all the millions of listeners that I'm sure that we have here writing a book. Um, this book is going to be a 28 day launch uh, or relaunch for your online product, uh, online fitness product. And so, what I wanted to do with it is kind of give you guys just a little excerpt of the book. What I'm kind of talking some things through, it just kind of helps me formulate my ideas a lot more. And you guys can tell me if it's any good and it adds value. So, this first section of the book is talking about this mindset aspect because I see. So many fitness professionals get started because they like the idea and then quit because they don't have some of these foundational mindset things in place. And that f- first kind of big thing that you have to figure out is why you are even doing this. Like, why are you doing an online business? Is it is it just because you want to make extra money? Because there's other ways in fitness to make other uh, extra money than just having your own business. Is it because um, you like the idea of being an entrepreneur? Um, you see other people doing it, so this is the the other what you just kind of expect you should be doing, or you actually want to. Uh, be an entrepreneur. Are you guys excited about actually enjoying the process and uh, becoming your own boss? Uh, because if that's the case, like that's awesome. Like that, that's where you need to be. But you need to have a bigger why than just that if you want to make it through and succeed. If your why is like fame or insta famous or, or, or even just money, you will quit whenever it starts getting difficult. And it will get difficult. I do not at all sell or want to make people think that there's a there's an easy button or anything for for being an entrepreneur. I do not know any truly successful entrepreneurs that um, said it was easy for them. N- not one. I've never found somebody that's making millions of dollars a year that says, oh, you know, it's actually just pretty easy for me. I didn't have to work that hard. Um, I didn't have to make any sacrifices. Um, I, I I took this 12 week course and it just happened for me. No, no, nobody have ever ever said that. I've had the opportunity to work with uh, uh, several multimillionaires, several even billionaires as clients whenever um, I was a, a personal trainer and none of them ever said it was easy. It's a lot of work. And if you don't have a bigger why um, for doing this, you will fail because you will quit. So me, for example, my why is my family. Like I want to leave a legacy for my children. If you guys don't know that much about me, I'm married. Uh, I've been married for actually 16 years. I'm, I'm an old married man. Uh, we've got three beautiful, amazing children. That is my why. This is my, I, I truly believe that what I do now, this is my calling, this is my purpose, but I want to leave a legacy for my children. So whenever I do this, a, a lot of the things I do, guys, I'll let you know, I don't actually want to do the task. Um, just like with our clients, right, with fitness, they don't typically want to do the task, but they want the result from the task. Um, I don't necessarily 
uh, want to do all the individual admin tasks and everything that are associated with my business, but I know that I need to in order to get the outcome. And, and why I want that outcome is to serve my bigger mission and my bigger why and purpose for why I have this business. I feel called to serve the uh, the real fitness professionals, the fitness community, and I want to leave a legacy for my children. Uh, so I, I always joke with them, like, daddy's working really hard, uh, so you don't have to do a lot of the stuff that he's had to do in order to get here. So if you don't have that big why and purpose, guys, the early mornings, the late nights, the, the sacrifices that you're going to have to make to get to this point will cause you to derail and get you off of course. Um, because I will tell you this, um, I said the work, the the work wasn't simple, but the process for building a successful business, especially like an online training business, and it being you know where it's a six seven figure business, the process is pretty simple. It's the work is what's difficult. And if you don't have that big why to push you and to keep motivating you when the work does get difficult, when things don't work out perfectly, when you launch that product the first time and it fails miserably financially, um, if you don't have that bigger why of why you're doing this, you will fail because you will quit. Um, so that that's kind of the first thing that you have to understand is is understand and grasp your why for doing this online business. The second thing with it, with the whole mindset aspect that I see people struggle with, is the mindset and characteristics of an entrepreneur. Um, I've been extremely blessed to be mentored by so many successful people that I. <laughs> don't deserve to have been around, but thankfully, you know, God just placed these people in my life so I could learn from them and, and grow from them. Um, most of the time, honestly, it, it's whenever I was doing sessions for them, I, they would hire me as their, their trainer. And I got to, you know, they thought they were hiring me to train them, but really I was getting the world's best business and mentorship advice, um, while I was training them. So I, I loved it. Um, but one of the things that, that I have found is, <sighs> You can call it several things, and it is all of these things. There's there's a poverty mindset. There's a fixed mindset. There's imposter syndrome. All of those negative mindset traits, I feel like for some reason they run even more rampant with the fitness professionals um, because they most of them are very much servant-hearted. Um, this is the service industry. I talk about that all the time. And so they give, give, give. They're willing to sacrifice. And because they're in that servant role or that service role, they will devalue themselves all the time, which, which caused them to fall into that that poverty mindset. And then once they start getting a little bit uh, of extra money and starting to grow a business, that imposter syndrome kind of kicks in because they're like, they don't feel like they're worthy of it or, or that they've earned it and everything because like, oh man, you, people used to only pay me $30 a session. Now I've got people paying me thousands of dollars for this online program. Like I don't deserve this. Like am I scamming people? All of these things are running through people's head. Um, and, and kind of one of the aspects with that is because they haven't really shifted their mindset into the entrepreneurial mindset. What I see uh, Tony Robbins talks about this in his his business mastery seminar. I went to that a couple weeks or a couple years ago. It was a, a one week course. It was epic. Um, and one of the things he talks about is the, the three levels of mindset. There's the employee, there's the manager leader, and then there's the entrepreneurial or the employee. He would also call the artist. This is where a lot of fitness professionals fall is in this artist employee mindset because most of you, whenever if you're listening to this podcast or you know you've got your own online fitness business, you're thinking about starting one. You probably started out working for somebody else at their gym. You started out as that employee. Maybe you got enough clients to where they're kind of pushing you. You should go do your own thing. COVID shut you down. You know, people aren't working out at the gym as much. So something spurred you. You're trying to get more time and financial freedom to start this online business. And this is probably your first uh, time to be in some type of entrepreneurial or leadership management position. And if so, they are, those are the typically the fitness professionals I see struggle the most with some of this stuff because they're used to being an employee. So they're really good at probably training people or an artist, right? They're, they're good at getting results for fitness, but 
they've never had to typically go out and, and hunt for clients, right? They worked for a facility where people were already gathering together. Uh, they were coming there for fitness. And at most, they had to follow up with leads and convince people that were already in this centralized location that they would give them a good training experience. So they didn't really have to actually go out and hunt for clients. They didn't have to worry about the cost of, man, if nobody uh, joins the gym this month, I, I might not be able to hire this other trainer or, or do this other promotion that I want to do. Like, they never really had to worry about those things. But whenever you take the next step up, uh, you have to, and you have to shift that mindset. So for example, say you go from that employee artist mindset over to that manager leader, right? Maybe you um, promote it up. You become a personal training manager, general manager of a facility or something like that, some type of a leadership role. Well, your mindset has to expand. You have to start thinking about other and bigger things because now it's no longer just about you and your small little business. Well, now you've got people that you're responsible for, right? You're, you have a leadership position where you're over these people. So now not only are you, you thinking about your business, but now your mind has to expand because you have to see things and view the business differently. It's not just about, do I, did I follow up with my clients? my booking sessions, are they getting results? Now it's, do I have enough um, employees to cover the amount of leads that are coming in? Am I making sure that my employees are following up those leads correctly so they can get those sessions booked? Um, am I making sure my employees are properly trained? Am I making sure the facility has everything that needs? Like now we're also probably thinking about hitting KPIs or, or key performance indicators or, or business metrics and everything for the first time. Like we're having to start think about things at a different level that we've never considered before. Then uh, maybe you've made that jump into entrepreneurship to where now you've taken that next jump up to where now it's that times 10, right? So now it's, it's not the employee artist. It's not the manager leader. Now you are the entrepreneur. So now it's all of those other things times 10 because now, you know, the manager leader is not really concerned about, uh, I, I know whenever I open up one of my gyms, like we had to take out another mortgage on the house, like the gym failed, like I would have lost my house. Like the manager leader, the employee, they're not worried about that stuff. They'll, they'll have their home to go to um, if, if the gym were to fail. But as the entrepreneur, like, you don't have that option. Like People's livelihoods are at stake. If the gym closes down, now not only do those people not have a, uh, a way to get their leads, they don't even have a job. So there's so much more pressure and responsibility that comes down to it. It's you. There's no boss to help you out. Like This is why... One of the big reasons why I've started this coaching program with Entrefit is to help the real fitness professionals um, become these fitness entrepreneurs and succeed online because there's nobody to help them. A lot of you guys, when you're starting out, almost everybody even still going on forward is a solopreneur, right? So it's just you. You might be out there on your own, maybe have some virtual assistants working for you, but it's you. You're going to have questions. And if you're new to this role of being an entrepreneur, you're going to want to bounce ideas off of somebody. You're going to want somebody that's walked the path before you. And that's exactly why uh, we created the Entrefit Coaching Program. Um, if you guys are interested in that, you can go to entrefitcoaching.com and um, Book a time for your free blueprint strategy call. I would love to talk to you if you're a real fitness professional um, and you're really looking to succeed by creating, marketing, or scaling your online fitness business. That's 100% what we do. You don't have to worry about figuring this stuff out on your own. You've got a coach. You've got me as your coach, guide, and mentor to walk you down the path to show you exactly what it needs to be successful. Um, and it's an extremely low-cost program. we got all the information on the website, so check it out. It's entrefitcoaching.com. We'll put the link in that down here below. Um, and then the last thing that I kind of wanted to talk about on this whole mindset thing. So we talked about your why. We talked about the mindset, the difference between like employee, manager, leader, and uh, entrepreneur. The third thing was I wanted to talk about things that I have never had a successful person tell me um, and how I personally changed my mindset, right? So we had all those things, but um, I've, I've, I, I grew up very poor growing up. Um, I was very fortunate to where, you know, whenever we, uh, we moved to Miami, I was surrounded with a lot of people that got me to see things bigger and really unlocked my mindset. And I very firmly believe led to the, the success that I've had now is because I could have never seen what I have for myself now six years ago. I would have thought it was possible. Um, I, I was a poor kid from Glenpool, Oklahoma, if you've ever heard that. It's a suburb of Tulsa, Oklahoma, which isn't even a big city. Um, but, so I, I would never have even thought that this lifestyle was even possible for me. But because I was around these people and I did have this mindset shift, that was one of the big keys that led me to seeing and thinking about things differently. So 
growing up and being around unsuccessful poor people, this is what I heard a lot. I, heard, I would hear this stuff. Why are you working so hard? Um, you're just missing out on life right now. You need to slow down. You're going to work yourself to death. Being successful is not for everyone. I heard that a lot growing up from, you know, just just the, the people that I was surrounding myself with that, that weren't successful themselves, but we let those thoughts come into, into our mind and kind of take over, and it shifted my identity and my mindset to where it made me think those things. But once I started surrounding myself and, and was surrounded with more successful people, these are the things I have never heard a successful people, person tell me. I've never heard, had a successful person tell me that I was working too hard. I've never had a successful person tell me that I was thinking too big. I've never had a successful person tell me that success comes easy. And I've never had a successful person tell me I'm working too much. Because all of them, all, all these successful people, mentor, mentors, coaches, and stuff that I've been around said the exact opposite. There were stories of you know sacrifice and perseverance, determination, commitment, discipline. That's what took for them to get where they were at. It wasn't, it, it didn't just happen for them one day, guys. Like they were killing themselves, busting their butts to make it happen, and then it finally did. Because I very firmly do believe if you are disciplined and determined and consistent with doing simple daily actions, um, it will work for you. I, I, people, you know, you can, you can hate on me if you want. Maybe I'm too optimistic, but I truly believe that success is possible, especially where we're at, uh, uh, in America. Like I believe success is possible for anyone. Um, if they are determined to be consistent with these daily disciplines, um, things that we're going to get to in the future, like time management, your daily schedule, to-do list, these small little tasks showing up every day with your content, serving people. Um, if you're consistent with those things, it will work. It might not work as fast as you, I, I know it's not going to work as fast as you want it to, um, but I do believe that uh, it, it will eventually happen. So last thing, kind of final thoughts for you guys, how I changed my mindset. Um, so w- once I started realizing that all of these successful people were literally saying the exact opposite of all the unsuccessful pe- per- people that I that I had been grown up around and surrounded myself. I'm, I'm not a smart man, um, but I knew to kind of start thinking like them uh, and shifting my mindsets. One of the things that was shared with me, um, one of my one of my mentors, uh, leaders that I look up to, uh, Craig Groeschel, he talked about daily declarations one time, and so uh, I wrote my own daily declarations. Uh, these are these are my personal ones. I will share them with you guys. Um, but I say, you guys, I say this stuff every single day to myself because I am not one of those people that believe like, oh, just you name it and claim it, um, or or you know just declare and it's going to happen. I don't believe that, but I very much believe that life and death are in the power of the tongue. We are surrounded by so much negativity with things that we see on social media, things that are going on in the world that we start to believe those things um, about our world and about ourselves. And if we're not careful, we'll start speaking those things to ourselves. And, and I very firmly do believe that you can convince yourself of anything. And so if I'm going to be uh, having to hear any voice, I want to make sure that it's positive and, and that I'm speaking life over myself. So what I did is I wrote down some daily declarations, some things that I believe about myself and that I wanted to speak life into me um, and, and over my family for. So I do this every single day. You can laugh at me. Um, what One of the things with this podcast, I want to share you, with you guys what has worked for me. Um, I, I don't want to give you any fluff or anything. I, I want to be real with you guys and show you what exactly what I do and what I've done. People ask why I've got so much energy, why I'm so happy all the time. Firmly believe this is one of the reasons why. So this is what I do. I start off every morning. Um, <sighs> family laughs at me because it wakes them up sometimes. But um, I hype myself up with my daily declarations. And this is what I say. This is personal to me. Um, yours should not be like this. <laughs> you can take some of these if you like them. But this is what I speak over myself, my life, and my business Um, every single day. So I hype myself up. I jump up and down. I do it here in the office. And uh, I say this, I say, I am a child of God. He loves me and has designed me for a huge calling on my life. I am blessed and highly favored. No weapon formed against me can stop me. 
I love my wife. She is a blessing and a gift from God, and I will love and serve her with all that I am. I love my children. I will love and lead them to serve Christ with all their heart. I radiate energy. Look, I'm getting fired up just saying this. People get energized just by being around me. I add massive value to others in the way I live my life, and I will speak life into others and recognize them for their unique gifts. I live a life of irrational generosity. I will give and bless others with the blessings God has provided for me. I am a warrior, a mighty man of God. This is my time. I will not be denied. I will dominate and crush this day along with anything that stands in my way. I have high standards for all that I do, and I always find a way to victory. I have decided that nothing can stop me. I am a warrior. Let's go. Have an awesome day. I say that to myself every day. I'm fired up right now to go do this, but um, I do believe that there's power in this, guys, because it's, again, it's not like... (laughs) This is not some magic spell that you say, and all of a sudden you're going to have an amazing day and an amazing life. I believe that this is, like I said, one of those small, consistent, determined dedication, things that I've dedicated to doing every single day um, just by speaking life over me. Because I know this. The rest of my day might be full of negative comments. It might be full of stress um, and just bad things that are going in the world. But if nothing else I had that brief moment to start my day with some positive thinking and reframing my mindset on how I think, how I do things. Because like we started off on the whole purpose of this episode today, guys, talk about your why. Shift your mindset, things successful people do, and how I reframed my mindset and my why. This reminds me of it every single day. So no matter how difficult my day might be, I know why I'm doing this. It's for a much bigger purpose than myself, than being Insta famous, um, and even than just making some money. It's about making a real impact and leaving a legacy. So challenge you guys today. Um, if you take anything from this episode, write yourself some daily decor- declarations and speak them over yourselves every single day. It could be something small like, uh, I am called for this. I am going to change somebody's life today. And this is what I was designed to do. It could be something simple like that, that you just say to yourself before you start your day. Because I promise you, you add this into your life, it will get better. Uh, Just because you'll start to feel better about yourself and you'll be constantly reminded about why you do what you do, why you're called to do this. And, uh, change and impact more lives ultimately, guys. So hope this episode adds value to you guys. We've got this brand new um, podcast that we've launched. Please consider subscribing if this adds value to you guys. This whole podcast is about helping real fitness professionals to create, market, and scale their online fitness business. We've got the audio version on all the cool places, Spotify, um, Apple. Um, it's We're hosted through Anchor. So if you're listening to us on there, that's awesome on one of your podcasts. We also have the video podcast version um, on YouTube. It posts typically the day before. So if you're watching on YouTube, click down below and you can get the links for where the podcast is at. Same exact content, except on YouTube, you got to see this goofy looking face. So hope this adds value to you guys. And if you are a real fitness professional that's looking to create market and scale your online fitness business, and you want more information about our coaching program, guys, go to entrefitcoaching.com, book your free blueprint strategy call. You'll hop on a call with me. We'll do a deep dive into your business and we'll show you guys and walk you through the three-step framework that we use to build successful online fitness business, guys. So thank you so much. Have an awesome day and we'll talk soon.